so heat conduction through a composite cylinder when we are considering flow through a heat exchanger there will be an inner tube and this inner tube will be having a radius inner radius r1 and outer radius r2 and then uh, then there will be another tube so in order to study flow, this heat transfer through this tube we should be aware of this particular thing and that is uh, net rest heat conduction through composite cylinder so here we are having natural case there is only one cylinder but to study here we are considering two cylinders so a cylinder a and a cylinder b uh, solid cylinders and inside this there is hot fluid and its temperature is thf so outside it there is cold fluid its temperature is tcf now net resistance for this heat flow because of this composite cylinder is 1 by 2 pi L into 1 by HHF R1. This is actually HHF is heat transfer coefficient in the inside surface. Into R1, R1 is inside the radius plus 1 by K because in in this particular in block type diagram it is something like 1 by H plus uh, L by K plus 1 by H1 plus L1 by K k plus like l1 by kb plus 1 by h2 it will be something like that similarly when we are coming to this hollow cylinder it is like 1 by hr1 plus 1 by k log r2 by r1 here k means the, first we are considering this inner surface in the inner surface there is only convection so we write this term 1 by hhf r1 r1 is radius of the inner surface plus then comes the material a for material A, it is 1 by K L1 R2 by R1. R2 is the this radius, that is the outermost radius of A, this particular material A. And this R1 is the innermost radius of this A. So R2 by R1 plus 1 by then comes the material B. So 1 by KB L1 R3. R3 is this radius, R2 is this radius. So R3 by R2 plus 1 by HCF R3. HCF is uh, convection in this surface. Conversion heat transfer coefficient in this outside surface. So that is HCF by R3. So this is the net resistance. But if we are to find this particular term, we know Q is equal to U A theta M. And where U is considered as the it is also some overall heat transfer coefficient, something like that. So U we can find U by either considering the inner surface or considering the outer surface. So of this term net resistance. In order to get u, we should erase this one. We don't want 1 by 2 by a. Then, if we are to find u of the inner surface, then multiply this with the inner radius, that is r1. If you are to find u of the outer surface, then multiply that with the r2. So, this is how you get u n and u outer. Now, this can be expanded to this can be expanded to uh, this for heat exchanger so that we are able to obtain heat transfer coefficient for heat exchanger.